So we got the wall. So the wall consists of the top part of the wall is all about the driver. The top half of the wall is about the driver. The bottom half of the wall is about the passenger. The bottom half of part of the wall is about the passenger. So let's start at the top. We got the temperature reading gauge, what you have the temperature at or set to in the vehicle. You can go up or down, cooler or hotter. The next one is the uh, for the heated seats. Heated seats, cool seats, heated seats, cool seats, heated seats. This next one syncs everything together, the bottom and the top. So if I hit the sink <coughs> and I adjust the top, the heat, it'll adjust for both sides, the passenger and the driver. When I turn the sink off, the passenger can control their own controls on their side. Then we got auto for auto heat and everything. Then we got the temperature for if you want it on your feet, you want it on your um, body or you want it on the windshield, so on and so forth, defrosting. This down here is for the total control, how high you want the pressure to be on your heat how high you want the pressure to be, or the you know the strength of how you want the heat to come out. This one right here just turns everything off. It'll completely cut everything off. Then we got the circ like a circular AC button, the AC button. Then we got the like a circulation button of how it's gonna everything's gonna circulate in the car. We got the max front defrost, and we got the rear defrost. Then we got the heated and cool seats for your passenger. Heated and cool seats for your passenger. Then we have the passenger control to how hot you want the vehicle to be, how warm, or how cold. So pretty basic functions of that. Up here we got our camera control. So what I obviously have is I have the C8 with the mirror, not the mirror, but the camera mirror. So you could either focus it in or you focus it out. Right under here are the buttons that show you how you can focus it in and you can focus it out. All right. So if I flick it like that, that's just a regular camera. If I flick it like that, I'm sorry, that's just a regular mirror. If I flick it back the other way, regular mirror, camera. And then these are the controls right here on the side for the camera. So you can control them. So when I first started, mine was set up kind of weird. So the stuff that you see behind me in the camera was up too close. So I needed to adjust down here to make it better. So you can zoom in and zoom out with that camera. You can like totally control the camera right under there. Up here, when I first, one day I was in traffic and I needed to find the uh, uh, hazard button I had no clue where it was. I'm all looking down here. I could not find the hazard button. The hazard button is right here. So you got some controls up here. OnStar, the hazard button, the SOS. You got some other buttons right up there that I, like, literally somehow I blanked it. We got lights up here. You just touch the lights, cut them on and off. Now, the steering wheel. This side of the steering wheel right here will change your channels it'll change your channels. This side of the steering wheel over here will control how the volume of your radio. So that's kind of like the bottom half of the steering wheel. This over here is my favorite button on the whole steering wheel, so let's get straight to it, haha. -ha. And that boat is my Z mode. So I love that Z mode. When I do it, the whole car changes, right? So let's say if I hit that Z mode right now, everything changes on the car when I hit that Z mode. So yes, I love Z mode. That's my favorite uh, button on the steering wheel. This is your heated steering wheel. So it makes the steering wheel hot. Heats the steering wheel for you. This is the voice of man. So when I press it, you hear this. What would you like? I don't want nothing. All right, so that's my- There um, is no active route right now. Okay, <laughs> so that, speech session canceled. So that is my control so you know i could tell it what music i want to play or uh talking about the nav or so on and so forth that's the voice command this is the to hit the phone off so this is like if i got the phone on this is cut the phone off um 
these other settings are for other things on the steering wheel i'm sorry other things in the steering gauge so let's say if i hit this one time it shows like my start speed or whatever if i was doing zero to 60 that's a performance timer so it helps me with all that over here we got the temperature and the time um we have the oil pressure we got how much gas is still in the vehicle as you guys can also see i have 4418 miles on my vehicle right now and if you look right square in the middle that is tour mode right there under the p is in paul it because i'm in park that's tour mode it's telling me i'm in tour mode if i do the selector now i'm in sport mode do the selector again turn it now i'm in track mode so it has all different types of modes. You do it right here on this little shifter. It's right here like a mouse, like a little mouse at a computer that you're at and you just twist it and it goes into different modes. And then those modes appear up here. So I'm just giving you a basic breakdown of what it's like to be in the cockpit of the C8. Over here to the side, you control your mirrors, you know, your window up and down and this controls your mirrors. So, just basic setup and letting you guys know how to operate, because some people get in C8s and they have no clue of what they're looking at or what they're doing. I'm just trying to give you a basic operation of how to drive a C8 when you first get it, how to get into it. When I first got my C8, my first drive away from the dealership was nerve wracking because I'm in the most expensive car that I've ever purchased or financed. and. I'm driving and I'm trying to be careful, but I also kind of want to rip it, but I'm too nervous. And I really don't know what all these darn buttons are. And now your dealer, they do do some type of class and they try to go over the buttons with you, but you're just so excited from your purchase. You're not really listening to everything that they're saying. You know, some things are going in one ear and coming out the other. Um, I'm not going to get into, you know, the rest of the Z zero to 60 or launch control. I'll do that in another video because I feel like I, I want to get more in depth with that. So people don't do the wrong thing trying to do launch control and mess up. Um, I do got my heads up display out there, as you can see. Hopefully you can see it. Um, the heads up display control is right under my right, uh, my left leg. So that's where it's controlled at. But it is a pretty, it, this is a driver friendly car. Everything's right here for you to do your drive thing. If I'm messing with the nav, I got two home screens. I got a home screen right there, and that home screen shows me everything. So I got, and I got a home screen button right here. So I got one right here that's a touch screen, and I got one right here. So I got auto, I got phone, I got nav, I got hotspot. The car can be a hotspot for you. User, settings, Apple CarPlay, Android CarPlay, right? That's my little nav my apps so you go into your apps or whatever and i ain't got none right now but on star service all right uh what else we got the pdr we got the climate control so we got the climate control right here on the wall right but we also have the climate control here and as you see you can still sync it it has a full climate control system if you want to go into it from the actual car and play with that climate control then again hit the home to get back uh, camera so that's all the camera features but you also have a camera button down here that already takes care of it but basically everything that's around in the car on the wall and different things all that same stuff those same controls are kind of still in the actual screen so you have double ways two different ways of getting the different things this is XM radio Right. So an XM radio right here, I got FM. So FM, you see these are my radio stations at the top. So I'm in FM and these are my radio stations. I could just push and go to where whichever one I want. This is XM, same thing. It changes at the top and you can go into different stations right at the top or you can just do it right here on the screen and go to different channel stations and page through whatever XM you know radio station that you want to listen to or hear. When I go press the back button again, now I got Pandora. I can hit Pandora. Mine's not set up, but 
You can set up Pandora as well. Just enter your email and your password and you can get your Pandora stuff set up in the car as well. Uh, what else? So then you got Bluetooth in your phone. Nothing's connected right now. I got my Bluetooth off because of what I'm doing, but you got contacts, you got recents, all the good goodies in there for that. You got your nav screen. I like the way the nav looks and you can set it up a few different ways, but as you can see that 79th Street looks real clear and close. And if you want to go to a restaurant, let's say whatever restaurant that I wanted to look for and go for, let's say right now I wanted to find um, <clears throat> Walmart. I can just like on a computer, I can just I don't have to type in an address or know the address. I don't have to go on to Google on my phone. The car will do it for me. It'll do Walmart and it'll give me the results of Walmart. So I got a Walmart that's like 1.2 miles from me. I hit the Walmart button and it's going to take me to Walmart. So I like that feature of things. I could just press in names of things instead of having to put in a full address. Um, What else do we have? We'll go back to the home button. We got the Wi-Fi, the hotspot. We talked about Apple Car CarPlay. We got Android Ar CarPlay. And that'll basically mirror your screen on your phone straight to the car in either one of those. And you don't have to have the phone plugged in. You can just... Um, it'll do it wireless, wirelessly. So on the 2020 C8 Corvette, you have to plug your phone in to do Apple CarPlay and all the other things. From the 2021 and above, you don't have to do that. It came wireless. It was it, it was wireless for Apple CarPlay and Android CarPlay. So then we got Amazon Alexa, we got the Marketplace, and then we got Spotify. So you got a few apps and you can even download other apps to the car if you want to. So, you know, if you're trying to get on Facebook or whatever it is, you have other apps that you can download to the car. So this is just, I don't want this video to be super long. Get in the comment section if it's other things that you can think of that I may have, I might have missed. I'm gonna do a separate video on the drive modes of the C8 Corvette. So that's why I didn't do it on this video. And I wanna do a video on the PDF uh, what else do I want to do a video on? Um, I want to also do a video on said drive modes. What else? Zero to 60 and the PDR, not PDF, PDR. I want to do a video on PDR and talk about that whole thing and just my overall experience. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button. I know this was kind of a nerdy, techie type video, and some of you guys already know this stuff, but for you guys that don't know this stuff, this is what I'm doing the video for. So before you guys get in the comment section, like, oh, I don't like the video or something, like, it's, it's for people that have not driven a C8 Corvette before. I want them to know some of the basic features of the C8 Corvette and know how to at least put the car in park, put the car in reverse, drive, so yes, the dealer's gonna go over some things, but he's not gonna go over it completely. You're gonna forget some of the stuff. The car does come with um, remote start. So every C8 Corvette comes with the remote start. So no, that's good. You still got your push button down here. I'll show you guys one more goodie. When you hit these two paddle shifters, so it's a paddle shifter here, and it's a paddle shifter here. When you pull both the paddle shifters back, and you come off the brake and just step on um, the gas, the car will rev and you'll, you'll get all the no noises and pops and gurgles and this and that. Uh, it, it'll make all those noises if you pull both the paddle shifters back and then step off the, come off the brake and step on the gas, you'll have a lot of fun. So before most cars, like my Mustang, for me to get that, I would have to either put the car in park and then hit the gas or I would have to put the car in neutral and hit the gas or step on my brake and gas at the same time. And this one, they already have it set up to where you just pull the two uh, paddle shifters back and you hit the gas and it's gonna make all the noise you want. So right in the middle, instead of a P, that's gonna be a D. And you'll know you're in that mode because the D will start blinking in blue to let you know that you're in that mode to just hit the gas so you can hear the revs and you can hear all the noise that's coming from the exhaust. If you like the video, hit that like button. Please subscribe. CA Pate out.